We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Ready now, Chris Bryant. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A little chilly, but not unbearable tonight. 55 degrees here at first pitch. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Grounded sharply, but right at that loaded side of the infield. Bellinger fields cleanly. Anthony Rizzo stands in now, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. So a runner at first with one out now. And into bat next, the versatile weapon Javier Baez. He's set. Here it comes. set by Kershaw now the pitch and a good idea to hold off on that swing it's ball one two balls and a strike to Javi Baez the 2-1 home is a slider that can't catch the outside we're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. So first and second with one man gone. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. From the belt, the pitch. Big curveball swung on and missed 0-1. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning. But if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 home. Bryant over at second. Baez is over at first with one away. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. So two on with two away. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. He set the 0-1. High that time with the slider taken for a ball. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. The 2-2 two -two pitch.
down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. He set the payoff pitch. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he struck him out. A 10-pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And the pitch. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse. A home run. Cody Bellinger at the plate now as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. The 0-1 on its way. Nope, that's down. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Corey Seager comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Lined hard toward right center. Half a range to his left and put it away. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter, Max Muncy. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. Off the plate and low here. Ball one. One and one to the Dodgers' first one baseman. One. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. At the plate, Justin Turner. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there. Oh, but he can't hold on. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Runner at first following the error. And next, the dangerous power threat, Will Smith. And that's in there for strike one. Darvish is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit. And whoa, this is off the third base bag. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. Turner isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And a relay home. And he is safe at the plate. And the lead is now three to nothing. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. Fouled off. From the belt, the pitch. And, oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. 0-1 the count. Oh, 
A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Curveball misses inside. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. The one two. Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's 3-2. and two. From 0-2 to 3-2, and two, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Fouled away. Another full count pitch home. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. At the plate, Ian Happ. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here comes the 0-1. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Up to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. I like what he was trying to do there with the two-seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to come in. When you throw it glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. Turner's got it to second for one. Over to Muncie, and they double him up. So base is empty now after the double play. And set to go is the second baseman, David Bodie. First pitch of the at-bat. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever-versatile Chris Taylor. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. No balls and a strike to count. And that misses one and one. Two and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls miss, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. First offering on its way. Clayton Kershaw is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Here's the 0-1. Runner goes for second, and a bunt attempt here with two strikes that'll get foul, so he'll become out number one. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he can hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, that's out. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Well, I'll even a 2-2. Two 
And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Mookie Betts goes down for the second out in the bottom half. And it's fouled away. Darvish pauses. 0-1 oh, on its way. Hit in the air to left field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Coming to the plate now, you Darvish. 9-1-2 and two do up. Here's the first pitch to him. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. In this situation right here, I'm protecting my pitcher from himself. I know he wants to swing the bat and let the boys know in the clubhouse that he can do his job, but I'm probably putting a take sign on right here. 3-0 and to him now. Now here's the pitch. And that misses as well. It's ball four, and it's a four-pitch walk to the pitcher leading off the inning. Wow. First pitch coming. Here it is. Chris Bryant will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. A ball and two strikes now. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. The second for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The next hub up, Anthony Rizzo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Like that pitch there. Lefty on lefty matchup. Curve ball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. One and one, the count to the Cubs' first baseman. Has a look, now the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Betts is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Javier Baez, reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the stretch. Starts him with a breaking ball this time, misses down and in for a ball, 1-0. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one, no strike. Ball. Damn. Darvish delivers the 2-0. A great call that time as they caught him thinking fastball. It's 2-1. Real nice curveball there. Had a lot of late break, and he waved right through that one. Three and one is the count to the Dodgers shortstop. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Swing and a miss on a ball inside. 0 and 1. 
inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Oh, and it's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there, but that was a great pitch for route number one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Justin Turner is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Turner, a California-born ball player. He was selected in the seventh round during the first-year player draft of 2006. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. In now, Will Smith. As Darvish will jump ahead of him here with strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Slider finds the zone for a strike. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. In the dirt here. So now two men in scoring position. Here's Jock Peterson now. Darvish pauses. First pitch on its way. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach. But if they can't score anymore here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. A ball that's carrying. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. First pitch coming, here it is. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Taylor is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. And there's ball one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on-deck circle. Here's a shot to left field and deep. 
Into the bleachers and gone. That'll bring up Jason Hayward. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And it's quickly 0-2. One run, two hits, one error for the Cubs to this point. Got him swinging in the dirt. Smith reaches out for the tag, and there are two away now. Digging in, Ian Happ comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Starts him out with a slider too high for ball one. Happ, a 25 year old who was selected in the first round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie. they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Chopper, foul. The one-two. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. Smith reaches out for the tag, and that ends the inning. Now at the play, Chris Taylor. He drew a base on balls his first time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Here he comes on 2-0. and oh. Belted high in the air out to left. Racing back the left fielder. Still ranging back. Gone! At the plate now, Clayton Kershaw. As Darvish will jump ahead of him here with strike one. And basically anything here will look better than what happened in his first at bat, which ended in his striking out on a bunt attempt. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. He's set and the pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Four runs, five hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And another foul ball. Another payoff pitch. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Next up for Los Angeles, Cody Bellinger. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. The count now at 2-1. and one. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And stepping up is the shortstop, Corey Seager. On its way is pitch number 75. Right side hit hard. And that is in the right field, the base hit. He'll come home with it, but not in time as he's across with the run. 
Next up is Max Muncy. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Ball inside. Runners are at first and third, one away. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the base. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Justin Turner is in for the third time here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. Ready with the 1 0. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Ready for another chance. Will Smith, eighth batter of the inning now with the base. First pitch coming, here it is. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting a guy in from third. Hit to short. There's Baez. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. Digging in to try it again. David Bodie. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. One and oh the count. Now here's the pitch. Hey. Smoke toward third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Cameron Mabin will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A ball and two strikes now. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. 
Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Ball one to start the at-bat. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. Just a tick behind for a strike. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Back goes Betts to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Dan Winkler, a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and in steps a former World Series. His hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. First pitch on its way. Oh, and one delivery. One ball, one strike. That's Fastball, it. close, but he didn't get it. Two yeah, and two one. Ball, one strike. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And it's gone as they add still another. So now to the plate, Chris Taylor. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Got him out on his front foot there as it swung on and missed for strike one. The 1-1. One -one. Popped him up. Rizzo over to his left. One out. So here now is the pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Schwarber will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Digging in, Mookie Betts. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now the pitch. Good curveball there. Gets the swing and miss. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Now here's the pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Fouled off. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. And 
he struck him out and that's eight strikeouts thus far but standing in Javier Baez he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate he's ready here's the first offering bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. The bouncer to the left side. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Settling in now, Kyle Schwarber. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. No balls in one strike. Fouled away. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. And it's fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Delivery to him on the way. That's now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. All even now, two and two. And now pitch on the way. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Cutter, and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Next for the Dodgers, Corey Seager. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind and count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Now a long throw to third. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance. <laughs> into the box now, Max Muncy. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for two in the ball game thus far. Down and away, ball one. If you're in the box right now, you've got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Now at the plate, Justin Turner. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the, in the dirt and block behind the plate. 
And they'll apply the tag, and he is cooked at home. The one-two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready once again, Wilson Contreras. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The last at-bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. So one away in the inning. And that'll bring in the dangerous bat of Jason Hayward, the right fielder. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Boy, they've been just... ...getting shut down right here been a while since they've even had a runner on so I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen drop a bunt get up on the plate something Kenley Jansen comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh high with the cut fastball and he's behind two and oh you never want to fall behind as a pitcher but doing it to a guy like this is even worse he's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now two and one to count Now the pitch. Hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time is laid off and the count runs full. Ian Happ will be next. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. At the plate, Ian Happ. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. That finds the zone a cold strike. And this will be fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Stepping into the box, Will Smith. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Count is one and two now. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two -two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. 
first offering on its way. Jock Peterson is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Not close. It's 2-0. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Ready with the 2-0. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now 3-1. and one. Chafin has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And there are two away now. So digging in now, Chris Taylor. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1-0. -oh. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball, one and one. Now here's the pitch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes again, one, two. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. The 3-2 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Stepping up now, Kenley Jansen. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. In there at the knees, strike one. All ones the count. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. You have to find a way to... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Stepping into the box, David Bodie. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen. He's hitless in three at-bats. First offering on its way. In there, and it's 0-1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Victor Caratini will get the call. hit ball to short on to first and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs so striding forward now Chris Ryan it was a fly out for him in his last trip first pitch on its way bases are empty here with two men out Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. I always felt this was the toughest pitch for me to pick up. A good executed slider, and that's exactly what happened right there. You get an ugly swing. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two.
swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Rowan Wick is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. Here comes the first pitch. Wick, a Canadian native, he was a ninth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. The 2-2. Two -two. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. And right into the shift. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Here's Corey Seager. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch-out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. One and oh, the count. Now here it comes. Slap hard the opposite way. Oh, and he misses it. Standing in now, Max Muncy. On the ground near home. That's a foul ball. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Set to start the ninth in this one. And here comes the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. He's set. Here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. In line for the victory is Clayton Kershaw should the lead hold. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. And that brings up Javi Baez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Grounded to short. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Fouled away. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. 6-1 to one the final. Los Angeles hosted a 